Hey everyone, welcome to Wearable Fandom. My name is Dustin and I am your Style Squire. Here at Wearable Fandom, we love to review the finest in fan clothing, uh, everything from shirts, jackets, hats, accessories. And today, my friends, the Roosevelt's released a brand new flannel collection for Star Wars. And that's what we're gonna deep dive into. If you're having a good time and you enjoy the content, please hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so that you can be advised of when we have new content. So let's jump in here. So this stuff moves really quickly. Roosevelt's is super popular. You gotta jump on it right when it comes out, but let's take a look at these anyways because they're still gonna be great shirts even if you spot them in the wild. Let's start with in a flannel far, far away. Now, all of these flannels are made and using this Borland Flex which is an extra kind of like two-way stretchy material. The short sleeves that the Roosevelt's make are, are from a uh, material they call Kunu Flex, which is actually really nice. It's very breathable, it's very lightweight, and it's very comfortable if you need to wear this all day, for example, at the Magic Kingdom or some other park or just at work. The flannel here is being a little uh, stretchy and forgiving is really great because it's a lot more comfortable when you have to wear it all day. You don't wanna be sort of stuck or restricted when you're trying to put on an extra jacket, a hoodie, uh, your scarf. You need to still have full mobility and the Borland flannels really do uh, reflect that nicely. I did notice one uh, with one of the flannels that I had that the, the arms were a little tight. I, I kind of have like these kind of freakishly long arms. It could have just been the one-off, but it did feel like it ran a little short in the arms. Coming back here to the in a flannel far, far away. I don't know if, if I know enough about Star Wars to recognize whether or not this panel or this pattern is consistent with the, uh, the, the actual star pattern at the beginning of uh, Star Wars, or as some folks know it, Episode 4, A New Hope. I'm gonna believe that it is, but I'm sure there are bigger Star Wars fans watching this than I am. We've got this really cool collar. It's kind of rare that you're gonna have this collar up, but you can see it's a jump to light speed. It's not the kind of thing that the people who see you wearing this shirt are going to actually see, but you're gonna know about it. And it's one of these subtle things that I love about the details in the Roosevelt's that you're gonna feel a lot better just knowing that that kind of detail is there in the material and sort of in the piece that you're wearing. When we get down to kind of the lower right hand side, you can see here, we've got the iconic original Star Wars logo. I love that the Star Wars here is vertical. It's on the side. It's not sort of up on the pocket or up on the collar and just some like in poking you in the face. You can see the sleeve here is, is very comfortable looking. I think this, this is a really great piece. If you were one of the lucky ones, tell us how you like it. Drop a comment or send us an email, wearablefandom at gmail.com. Okay, now we're gonna dive into this Star Wars R2 Borland Flex. This is reminiscent of R2-D2. Uh, I love the plaid here. The plaid colors here really uh, give off vibes of, of the original Star Wars. Uh, the colors kind of connected to R2-D2, kind of he's primarily white, he's got these blue tones, and the plaid here really reflects that. I also love kind of the blend of the, the thicker plaid stripes um, with, the, with the thinner ones. When we get down to that lower right side, we can see this really cool highlights of R2-D2. I don't think that this is mirrored on the other side. In fact, it, it, it might not make a lot of sense if it was. Uh, if you bought one of these and you get a chance to look at it, let us know. When we look at that collar, once again, something special here, the optic sensor, I believe it's the optical sensor from R2. You can see here, this red circle uh, is reflected here in his collar. It's such a nice little detail. This is a matched pocket. For those not familiar, maybe I can show on this one. A matched pocket is when the fabric of the actual pocket blends seamlessly into the actual uh, pattern. A lot of the Roosevelt shirts, because of the way that they produce them, it's difficult to make that work. Super cool detail, very appropriate for a flannel, but still, it's a little bit of extra work, so I wanna give them kudos for that. Let's go back again and take another look at the next one. Okay, Star Wars Dagobah Flannel Master. This gives me Yoda the action figure kind of vibes. Um, you know, the combination of Yoda green plus the little brown cloak or the clothing that he used to have with his little snake and his little stick. So let's go down here and kind of take a look at um, the lower right side here. We can see this nice illustration of Yoda. This is a signal back to the Empire Strikes Back when Yoda basically raised Luke's 
X-Wing out of the swamp. I love the sleeve here too. I really love the green, the choice of buttons here that kind of matches the green tone here. Let's take a look at that collar. Really nice dark brown here, reflecting Yoda's cloak. A nice detail. I don't want to miss out on calling attention to the detail of that match pocket because man, that is, that is, uh, that is keen. All right, what else do we have? Uh, Return of the plaid. Okay, let's jump into this one. A little bit of a darker one. This plaid is a little, uh, you know, dark lines, green lines here. The first thing that I think of is Luke from Return of the Jedi. And I think that that maps exactly to what they were going for. How do I know that? Well, when I cut down immediately to the lower right-hand side, I can see Luke's green lightsaber. Luke used this lightsaber for the first time in the scene where he's helping uh, Han, Leia, Chewie, and, uh, and, and the droids escape from Jabba's palace. That's the first time that you see Luke's green lightsaber. What else do you see for the first time? Well, Luke's actually dressed completely in black. He's got his black glove covering up his bionic hand. Uh, we can get all of that energy from this shirt. When we look at the collar here, under we see this kind of hunting green type of color, which is a great complement to the rest of the plaid and to the rest of the shirt. Match pocket, again, I really like this shirt. There were two other pieces that were newly made available. The first one is this Star Wars Rebel Jacket reversible bomber. So we've got uh, the Star Wars kind of iconography. This is a signal back to the beginning. 1977 uh, original um, Star Wars film with the X-Wing. The planets kind of floating around here, to be honest, give me vibes of the original Star Wars comic book series that came out in the late 70s, early 80s. Uh, maybe that's hitting a note for some of you as well. And then when you flip it around, you know, you've got a larger version. You're kind of putting your fandom out there when you when you wear a jacket like this, but it, it's, it's really nice. It looks quite, quite comfortable. The interior liner is of the reversible. This is like a retro energy back to kind of the original film, which I can really appreciate. Now, what's it look like when you reverse it around? We're, we're looking at an unzipped front. So maybe it would be better if we looked at the zip one first. So we, we're kind of seeing this uh, painting here. This looks like, is this the surface of the Death Star? I'm gonna say it's a rogue squadron kind of moving into the surface of the Death Star. You can see there's a few TIE fighters in pursuit. I really love the action. It still has this really cool feel. We can also see the orange um, sleeves. You can also see here on the right-hand side, we've got the Rebel insignia on the right sleeve. Uh, this is basically a, a flat, uh, callback to the X-Wing fighter outfit, the orange jumpsuit that the, the X-Wing pilots would wear. Uh, really cool piece. I love, I love the insignia. Let's jump back and go to the Star Wars Thrawn reversible jacket. Admiral Thrawn is a character that's coming back around. I don't want to give any spoilers about uh, any of the series, but if you know, you know. If you are a fan of kind of the expanded universe, you know about the Timothy Zahn books that introduced Admiral Thrawn, and there were a whole bunch of them. Super, super cool character. I love the description here. This is not really a spoiler. Equal parts brilliant, ruthless, and all around diabolical, known to be one of the rebels' most dangerous adversaries. Grand Admiral Thrawn has officially entered the chat. <laughs> We're talking about the infamous Imperial Mastermind, of course, but this full-blown stunner of a reversible bomber jacket, each side a nod to his character's signature skin and tunic color schemes is absolutely on equal standing. And I've got to kind of cut it there. I don't, if you don't know who Admiral Thrawn is, this one's not gonna land for you, but for the folks who are familiar with that character, man, this jacket looks awesome. If you don't want to wear that raghead signal, it looks like you can actually pull this off. If I zoom in here, yeah, I can see that it looks like it's a Velcro patch. So it comes with a second patch that you, if you don't want to wear this, this rank insignia, you can just remove this and then you can kind of put the Star Wars on. That looks raised and it looks like it's probably a rubberized version with a Velcro back. Don't quote me on that in case it's not true. And then of course you can see here on the cuff and the, and, and the waist, looks really awesome. But let's flip this bad boy inside out. And when we do, we end up seeing um, the blue. And this is kind of a reflection of some of the physical characteristics of this character. I'm not gonna say what, um, but basically we've got one of the Star Destroyer symbols for his ship, which is called the Chimera. So whichever mood you're feeling, you can kind of rock it. I really like this piece. Four flannels, two reversible bombers, some really fantastic new stuff for Star Wars at the Roosevelt's. Check them out, rsvlts.com. 
Let us know what you think of these things. Are you going to buy them? Did you already buy them? Which one's your favorite? Which ones do you, would you like to see in addition? Like if they were gonna add a couple more flannels to this collection, what would you like to see? You can always drop us a line at wearablefandom.com. Tell us what you'd like us to look at. Are there any specific, uh, specific shirts, specific accessories, hats that you want us to take a look at. We're gonna order a few of these and when we get them in, we will actually have an update to this video. Roosevelt's always knocks it out of the park. That's gonna do it for this episode of Wearable Phantom, folks. Signing off, I'm your style squire. And remember, always be yourself. Bye everyone.